Hello, welcome back to Kenny's Foreign Motor. Today we're working on 2013 Mercedes-Benz GL450 V8. This vehicle uh, came in for a check engine light, actually came from the dealer. So they went to the, one of the local dealership Mercedes. And this vehicle, they wrote down a bunch of stuff for check engine light. I just scanned the check engine light. And like I can show you the dealer quorum for almost $11,000. $10,000. So, and that, everything else they stay put down. It's not all the issue. So this vehicle has a vacuum leak and also the check engine light on PO451, PO452. I did fix that vacuum leak uh, small kit after we scan it. And just keep watching. It's a great tip for anybody fixing Mercedes or on a Mercedes GL. This issue, I did work on, uh, on this car. I fixed it before I start working on it. I try to get any information from uh, YouTube or online. There's nothing. So just keep watching. And this is the problem was it started with the fuel pressure and leak, vacuum leak. So keep watching. Thank you. Hello. Uh, today at Kenny's Ford Motor, we're working on 2013 Mercedes-Benz GL450. Like you see, it's on the left. We're replacing fuel pressure sensor. So it's right there, the new one. Okay. And located on the left side exactly behind the driver side uh, rear driver doors right here and this is so tough because usually Mercedes the old one they have a, where's the seat you take it out there's a cover there's no cover to open this one it's right here like you see is orange piece is right here just you can lower the, the gas tank you don't have to take it out all the way just lower down it's right here this is fuel pressure sensor. After you scan the car, give you the code. It's right here, you can buy it from the local dealer. So it's uh, uh, listed for a lot of hours, but uh, I'm doing a shortcut. I just disconnect the line right here. Disconnect the, the, the bolt, the 13 millimeter, four of them. And it's not gonna fall out because the exhaust and the drive shaft holding it. So, I saw, I look on YouTube and online, there's nobody have this video. So I'm making up this one at Kenny's Foreign Motor to be a helpful for everyone. So stay with us. We're gonna replace, finish that fuel pressure sensor on 2013 Mercedes GL450. Okay, so make it more easier for everyone. So this is the new sensor, fuel pressure sensor, and that's how I bought it. There's a part number from Mercedes. So I just removed the harness. This is have another problem, which the wire is broken. So I can't believe that, and I can show everyone the harness is broken, like you see. See this? This is the harness. See the blue wire? It's broken. I don't know, there's a lot of dirt there. Mice there, a skull, it's too. So somebody eat the wires here. It's vehicle 2013. So the blue one is broken, like it's two pieces, and the white one is almost broken. So I'm gonna replace that fuel pressure sensor anyway because it's a, not an easy job. Uh, and I'm gonna replace this 
honest, if they sell it, if not, I can repair this. Is GL 450 2013 Mercedes Benz. You got two PO codes for that. After you scan it, the PO code asks you is the EVAP leak or fuel uh, EVAP uh, system too high, too low, and that's the problem. And I did a lot of search, nobody have that video. So at Kenny's Foreign Motor, this is the first video I'm gonna upload it soon at my channel. Thank you for watching. Okay, like you guys see, I put the fuel tank back. So the fuel tank, I did not drop it all the way, just I lose the drop a little bit. So the harness is right here. So this harness, you replace it. From here, go over the tank and uh, connect to the fuel pump and connect to the fuel pressure sensor. So I did replace the fuel pressure sensor and I replaced the harness. So the harness was a big issue. The, while I was there, I, re I replaced the sensor. So this vehicle is all set, okay? It's all done, the issue is all done. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thank you. Okay, this is the final step. So we're clearing the coat. The check engine light, so this is the scan tool. So you could erase the coat. Everything done. Okay. And you can start the vehicle. Check engine light is gone. Okay. I'm gonna shut it off. This vehicle have a 150 on it. Thank you for watching. This is will be helpful for somebody know about cars, mechanic shop, or somebody wanna fix his own Mercedes. Please subscribe and like and comment. Thank you for watching.